So today's project is going to be putting up a new shelf. Walmart had these on sales for 48 bucks. I was actually lucky enough to get one. They only had two left. So I picked one of these up, 48 bucks. Um, they're pretty good shelves. I have a couple of them in my garage. But as a prepper, right out of room in the good old pantry. So it's getting a little to be a cluster, to say the least. So we're going to be putting this shelf in the spare room here. And those are some of my buckets. And we'll get the shelf together and I'll show you what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Okay, so as you take all this out of the box, all right, this is what it looks like. This is all your shelves. Okay, this, you screw these together, are your poles. Okay, now they're a little over six feet high. <clears throat> Does come with instructions and everything if you wish to follow those. They do label the bottom of these. They come wrapped in plastic. All right, as you can see. And then they have a label the good old top so you know which one is the top now I'm going to show you a little trick to this so that you don't cross thread these things because they cross thread real easy so hold on a second let me adjust the camera okay so one thing you want to do is when you get the this is the bottom piece this is the adjustable leg all right Start off with the legs all screwed in this way here. They're all nice and tight inside until you get the shelf completely put together and then you can level it off using the leveling legs. Now this is the, the end that you want to screw in the top piece to. But before you get to that, what you want to make sure that you do is <clears throat> this when this comes, this is loose. So you need to screw this in and tighten it. Now don't try doing it this way. That's what I'm trying to get to get at for you. All right, because it's it's so easy to get those things cross threaded. So what you want to do is put this one on the ground. All right, take your one that you're going to screw in and just set it right on the top, line it up, and then it screws in nice and easy. And you do not cross thread these because once you cross thread them you're done and that is how you put together the poles for the shelf that I'm doing okay. the beauty of this shelf I'm going to show you here these are the clips okay now they're labeled for your convenience I don't know if anybody can see that it does say top so that has to be the one that's on the top of the pole, all right? Now, you take these, and there's only one way they can go together. As you can see, if I can get them just right, okay? They have to go together so they're like this. And they will snap together around the pole and lock. Now, the beauty with this shelf is is as you can see here you have all these lines okay so you can set this up however you want all right you can put the shelves anywhere you want on this pole all right now I want to put some stuff underneath it so there's two ways you can do this you can measure or you can take and just count now as long as you can count you're good to go, but you have to make sure that they're all exactly the same. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go up, let's go up eight. So you place this on here and there's little grooves inside that you won't be able to see them in here, but there's little grooves inside that go right, you feel them kind of lock in. And then you take the other piece and you line it up snap them together and now that is locked in place now you have to take and do 
do the, the other ones, just like that. I'm going to do these, and I'll be right back to show you putting on the first shelf. Okay, so if you're putting this shelf together by yourself, the easiest way to do it is, for all those people that maybe don't have somebody else to give you a hand, which my wife is here, she can help me do this, but I wanted to show you how to do it by yourself. <clears throat> so the first two, you want to lay it down flat on the floor and slide this over about halfway, okay? Now our clips and stuff are down here. Now we're going to put the next one through. Roughly about halfway. And it may slide on you a little bit. Grab the other pole. And do the same thing. Got to make sure that you get the right end because you want it to make sure that it locks in place. Okay, once you get it to this point, you can slowly just start sliding it back towards where the caps that you put on are. All right, so you got that. So now, you can just reach down and slowly pick it up and roll it towards you. Now, it's going to be a little wobbly here. Extra plastic caps to, you could add more shelves if you wanted to buy extra shelves. Or, you know, if one breaks or something, then you can readjust them and replace the, the caps. So that's a beautiful thing about some of these. Your first one is on, and that is all there is to it. Now it's just a, about either counting or measuring from this bottom one right here. You put on your next round of caps and you put all your shelves in. So I'll be back in a few minutes and I will show you what the finished product will look like. Now, if you're not really sure where you want to put the shelves, but you know what you want to put on the shelf, this is what you can do. As you can see here, I took three cans of basically vegetables and stuff, stacked them up and want to see exactly how high I want the shelf. Now, if you only want to do two, very simple, remove one and put yourself there. But you also want to remember, you want all the heavy weight. Any heavy weight objects go on the bottom and you work your way to the top with the lighter stuff. So that's one easy way that you can see where you need to put your next shelf. Okay, as we all can see, the shelf is all put together. It is just a little bit over six foot. I'm six one. All right. I have the shelves spaced out exactly how I want them for the products that I want to put on this. And this is something that you can do very simple, very easy. But we do want to talk about one quick thing though. Let me get in the camera view so you all can see me. Okay. <clears throat> First off, if you do have any little kids or People that just like to climb. You never know. Could be an adult. You want to make sure that you take, go to the store, and you can buy clips, and you also can buy a tether. Now, all you have to do is find the stud in the wall. All right? You can get a stud finder or, you know, tap on the wall. You can pretty much figure out where the stud is. <clears throat> if you had a stud finder, it would be a lot easier for you. But then you can take and tether this off to the wall so you do not have to worry about any little kids trying to climb on this and pull this shelf over. Rather it be in a spare room, a pantry, a garage, a basement, wherever it is that you're going to be putting your shelf. Okay? Now, some shelves do come with the tethers. I do notice that there are some that... Um, they do include tethers to tether it off to the wall. This way here, you don't have to worry about it falling over. Now, what I do is, is I put it up square against the wall. Like I said, I do not have any little kids. <clears throat> and as you're putting it together, a level will be quite helpful with the shelves to make sure that each shelf is level. And you wanna make sure that you're doing that as you're going up and putting the shelves together. 
Now, something else that you can do that comes in handy would be a rubber mallet. Not a hammer, because you don't want to scratch it all up or anything like that and everything else. Use a rubber mallet. Now, if you don't have a rubber mallet, yes, you can use a hammer and just take and basically get a washcloth, an old rag, something like that, and put it on here and then lightly hit it with that. All right, but a rubber mallet would be ideal for this type of project. Now, when you do tap these things down, okay, don't really tap real hard because you can break those plastic sleeves that are in there that we put on in the beginning of the video so that we could put our shelves up. If you do break them, <clears throat> they do give you spares. You get two spares, okay? So if something happens and you did break one or anything like that, you do have some spares that you want to make sure that you keep somewhere that you know where they are. But more likely, once you put this thing together, you're probably just going to leave it together. They are very sturdy. They're all metal. The only thing that's plastic is these little clips. <clears throat> so, this has been showing you how to build the shelf yourself without any help. If you do have somebody to help you, it goes even faster. You know, if you have a uh, family member, a friend, anything, a kid, doesn't matter. Four hands are better than two. But it can be done just by yourself. It's very simple, very easy. The box doesn't really weigh that much. You know, and once you get this shelf into place, now all you have to do is start putting your stuff in here. Whatever it could be. It could be your canned goods. It could be dry goods. It could be toilet paper. You could pile this thing, load it full of toilet paper if you're so worried about not having toilet paper. But it's just to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do to maximize the space in, say, a room that you don't use anymore or even um, a pantry because some pantries don't have all the shelving and stuff that they may have it on one side but not the other. So you may be able to squeeze one of these in there. You have to do your measurements before you uh, buy anything and make sure it's going to fit. They make these in all different sizes. You can get them in just a two shelf, you can get a three shelf, and you can get the five shelf, like I have here. Remember also, folks, when you are loading up your shelf, heavy stuff to the bottom, and work your way up to the lighter. Now, once I get this all done and everything, I'll take a picture and I'll add it to the end of this video, just so you can see what it all looks like. So, thank you for joining me on my little adventure here. My, one of my little vacation projects, if you want to call it. The wife wants the pantry cleaned up. So, we got to do what the wife wants. If mama's happy, everybody's happy. If mama ain't happy, well, time to grab the backpack and hit the road. If you know what I'm saying. So, until next time, I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I will catch you on the flip side. So there is a finished product. One thing to remember is save the box because you may be able to cut the box down to put it down so you can stack the canned goods. The smaller cans are the ones you have to worry about. As you can see the larger cans stack just fine. No problems whatsoever. All organized, all dates and everything. The wife is happy. I'm happy. And that's how you put a prepping chef together.